We continue on with our AS Gamer Part 3 tutorial, a more advanced character movement. If you go to hunkim.com slash AS Gamer, it's going to take you here. And we just choose the third uh, link. The fact that this text is black means that we're actually on this tutorial. Scroll near the bottom and you should be able to download the actual uh, file. All right, uh, here. When you download and extract it, you should see this folder. And here is the actual file we want to open. And if you go into the folder here, you can see that we're using Synocular's key object uh, class there, the AS file. And AS Gamer has uh, the engine and ship AS files. So when I open up this uh, flash file, I notice that in the properties, uh, we have this uh, document class called engine located in this folder. Uh, this is where your code is starting. So we press Control O, we open up the actual AS Gamer Part 3 code. And we go to COM AS Gamer Basics 1. We hold down Control Click to open up both of these at the same time. And here we have the engine code. There's nothing new from since the last time, so let's go to the ship code and see what's new here. When I press Control Enter to run the program, notice how we have the spaceship moving in a very smooth way. So it feels very smooth, as if there is some kind of friction where it's slowing down that way. I also notice this kind of, uh, it almost looks like it's uh, rotating in some, uh, in some cool animation uh, way. Let's see what's going on there. Notice how we have some variables here, Vx, velocity x, Vy, velocity y, friction, as well as a maximum speed. So when we actually press the left arrow button, our velocity x is going to decrease by speed amount. So this line is the same as saying velocity x equals velocity x minus speed. So uh, if you wanted to uh, decrease uh, more quickly, you would just simply uh, increase this number here. Remember that this loop function is being called every single frame, so uh, every single frame is going to keep on checking to see if your left key is down. So if you keep on holding a certain key direction, then we're going to keep on affecting the, uh, the x's uh, velocity. And notice how if we are not pressing left or right, then the alternative situation is uh, we should uh, somehow um, slow down. So the x's uh, velocity, uh, be it uh, positive or negative, is going to decrease because when you multiply uh, itself by friction, which is 0.93, it's going to decrease by about 7% every time. Vx times equals friction means the same thing as Vx equals Vx times friction. So we keep decreasing the Vx. Uh, it becomes smaller and smaller. Hence, the uh, the effect of the whatever the Vx speeds tends to slow down and decelerate. The same code is for moving up and down. And it's interesting here that x equals x plus vx plus equals means x equals x plus vx. So it's kind of like the change in x. Uh, it can be either positive or negative. Same with the y's. So the x is in blue, y is in blue, rotation is in blue. It means it's a special property that's built into Flash. And these properties uh, belong to the, the actual movie clip since ship, the ship class is a movie clip. So all movie clips have this property called x, y, and rotation. And it just so happens that this uh, ship movie clip uh, rotates um, every single uh, frame depending on the, uh, the x's uh, uh, vx value, which can be either negative or positive. So it can rotate a little bit to the left or to the right. This if statement here says if vx is greater than max speed, vx equals max speed. Max speed, if you look at the top of the code, is set to 8. We're just somehow capping the maximum speed uh, change. As well as here, we're just uh, capping the minimum uh, x vx speed. 
and the same idea over here. And here it looks like the developer just played around with uh, tweaking some some uh, algorithms here. Uh, this is not the only algorithm you can use, but he just messed around and found this to be visually appealing. Somehow we're changing the scale x property. If you change the scale x property, which somehow depends on vx, uh, it can be visually pleasing. The idea of increasing scale x twice as wide would make your ship be twice as, as uh, wide uh, if you multiply by 2, and if you divide the scale x value by 2, it would be twice as skinny. If you make a scale x value negative, it will actually flip the spaceship image horizontally. So here are the main ideas from this part 3 code. Hopefully you can uh, digest and uh, uh, have the creative power to create your own games. Excellent.